wakazi wa Pero huko Cape Town ambao walikuwa na hasira kali leo baada ya kutoka mahakamani kusikiliza kesi ya mzee mmoja wa miaka msini ambaye anatuhumiwa kumuua binti wa miaka nane Tasnim Van Vike. Wakazi yao ambao walipata na hasira baada ya mahakama kuahirisha kesi hiyo mpaka tarehe 17 mwezi wa nne mwaka huu waliamua kwenda mtaani kwa mzee huyo na kuchoma nyumba moto pamoja na mali zake zote ambazo walikuwa nazimiliki mzee huyo. Hata hivyo mpenzi mtazamaji kama unavyofahamu tabia za watu wa Afrika ya Kusini panapotokea vurugu basi hawakosekani wale ambao watachukua advantage kwa ajili ya kuenza kuanza kufanya shopping ya burebure. Naam, tumekukusanyia video mbalimbali kuhusu tukio hilo. Naomba uendelee kuangalia mpenzi mtazamaji na usahau kusubscribe katika Tichem South YouTube channel. Look at the Alton Perau. How are you going to stop crime in this community? What does the president want? People to die? Children to be raped and killed? This is not the country for us to live in. We will take the laws into our, our own hands. We are going to react from now. And if the police come on top of us, we'll be able to hurt them as well too. We have the third child in this province and in this country killed by somebody that came out on parole in December. It is an injustice to our children because our constitutional obligation as a country is to ensure that our children's right to be safe is protected. And clearly we can see that that is not the case. So we were all at the court this morning because the perpetrator that took an eight-year-old from Eitzach to Gusta and been killed. Maybe she was even killed in one of those brothels. So we were at court and at court the citizens decided enough is enough. So now there where he was with her. It just shows you the intelligence of our police because for three days she was kept at number 40. The pumps cleaned her they washed her because they thought it is his child. How silly can you be? You, you can check somebody that's got money comes there with an eight-year-old child into a drug house. So today at court, the community decided, and I must thank God for the death of Tasnim. People won't understand that. But if she didn't die, we would not have been united. I would not have been here because we are saying as citizens, you drove us to civil disobedience today by your action in December, by allowing a parole to come out, third child killed in less than a month. Does that make sense for a country that has a constitution that should protect its citizens against harm and violence? I don't think our country is doing what it should do according to its constitution it has. So they are reviewing chapter 25 or section 25. They must review the Bill of Rights that says that every child and every citizen has a right to safety and to be protected. We are not protected. That is why we decided enough is enough. Hey! 
Hey, hey, geef die pak nu, man. Hey. Meneer, hoe komen ze jullie bezig om hier te doen? Meneer, um, die man is een klein maar is ik een dood gemaakt, hebben we ons. Ja, en nou, hoe komen hoe kom, beroof jullie nou hier die plek? Ja, ik heb een koekdraak zien, man, ja, en hou me hier. Meneer, hoe komt denk je dat ze bezig om hier die plek naar te tekenen? Ja, maar nou, dat is die draak. Ik ga de draak pakken, hou me. Alla, hoe kan dat zijn? Die meisje kan wel zien aan komen die huis. Is meneer van hier die area? Ik ga met die meisje kan blijken, maar naar die area, ja. Hou me zacht, dobbe. Meneer, wat is wat is die reden voor hoe kom je mensen specifiek aan? Omdat we een beetje wat krachtig in dood gemaakt. Die oude die een paar uur rond geloof mensen het vallen gewaarschuwd. Maar die politie heeft niks aan gedaan nie. Wat is dit? En een stuk en drugs en so gaan dit. Is hierdie vermeende dwelm huis? Aria. Jy kan sê is een aria. Is een aria? Hulle die kind aangehou by 40. By wat so plek? By nummer 40. Die is sy wat is verbrand. Die is sy wat is verbrand. Hulle die kind daar aangehou.